Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s. My name is Tammy. We're doing our third and final song tonight and then we're going to call it a night. Um, and this request is going to go out to Karen. Um, she wants to go back to 1969 and wants to hear the song Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and the Shondells. So um, if you don't know who they are, um, they also sing the song Mon Moni Moni, and they also sing Crimson and Clover, which I did not know that. Their voices sound different to me than that. Um, so anyway, um, and they are considered a psychedelic rock, rock band. So we're just going to get right to it. Again, the request is for Karen, and we're going back to 1969 and doing Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and the Shondells. The sun is rising Most definitely The new day is coming ooh, ooh. People are changing Ain't it beautiful ooh, ooh. Crystal blue persuasion this song for just a minute. <laughs> I've always liked this groovy tune. Of course, it's in the 60s, so of course I'm going to love it. And I'm hoping they'll let me put this video out because I figured Karen would dig those go-go boots and the hula hoop. Um, I used to be really good at that hula hoop. I had one that had like a marble inside of it or had something in it. Every time it rolled around, it would make this weird noise and I could get it to go to my ankles and back up to my waist and down again. Shoot, I couldn't do that now if, I, if my life depended on it, but it was fun. But anyway, I love the little video, so I'm hoping, like I said, that I could put it out. And I really like the song too, so thanks for the request, Karen. We're just getting right back to it. The 1969 Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and the Shondells. Maybe tomorrow When he looks down On every green field Sweet. 
cool if these people that are in these old videos if they're still alive that I wonder if they look back and say oh my god that's me in that video <laughs> uh, like in one like this because they all look like they're tripping to me but anyway let's see what they have to say about the song okay at the time there were several popular types of high quality blue colored LSD tablets in circulation and some listeners generally assumed that Tommy James was referring to this little blue pill, which is called acid. <laughs> but in 1985, in an interview, James said that said that the title of the song came to him while he was reading the biblical book of Revelations. And it says, according to Tommy James's manager, James was inspired by his readings of the book of Ezekiel, which he remembered as speaking of a blue Shekinah light that represented the presence of the Almighty God and the book of Isaiah and book of Revelation which tells of a future age of brotherhood of mankind living in peace and harmony and it does say that in the song too um, let's see what else it says over here it says when released as a single in 1969 this song became one of the biggest hits for the group Peaking at number two on the Billboard Hot 100, and in Canada, the song spent one week at number one. Okay, great song, and I really, I really like Tommy James and the Shandells. And actually, I was going to mention this too. I seen this movie years ago, and it was called Crystal Blue Persuade, Persuasion. And so I wanted to watch it because I actually thought it was about this song or I thought this song would be in it. I never did ever hear the song in it, but it's actually kind of a, um, it's about a guy I think that's like a music producer or something. And he falls in love with this girl that's like crazy, but I don't know which one's crazy or him or her. And then, so I tried to look it up earlier to see, you know, what the movie was about and couldn't find it anywhere. And I actually think that it was one of those shows on um, the Lifetime channel, and so, I don't know, but anyway, that stuff's, I, it's, if you've watched it, it can be a little cheesy, but actually, it was a pretty good movie, and it was called uh, Crystal Blue Persuasion, and I did get interested in it, I don't know how it ended, but they were both a little psycho, I think, and, um, but yeah, so I thought I'd throw that in, but anyway, thank you for the request, Karen. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's easy and it's free. And if you hit that post notification bell, you won't miss a video. And if you hit like underneath the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. We're going to go for the evening, get some rest, um, and peace out. <laughs>